I am Don Trites, and I'm here today to uh, make a flag pie for you. Uh, I have made one pie that I brought with me in a round uh, pie plate, and today I'm going to make uh, a flag pie slab pie. This is what I'm going to use to make the pie with. And the first thing we need to do is we need to roll out the bottom crust of the pie. I gotta get some flour on my mat here so that the dough does not stick to it. I pre-made my pie dough last night and so I'm gonna, it's still kind of cold so it's gonna be a little brittle and kind of want to crack for me but I'm gonna get started and we're gonna go a little one way and then the other. Normally you try to draw two more and away flour to get on this also. Then I'm going to turn it over and go the other way. Turn it again. And let's keep doing that as we go. This is going to be more of a square piece of dough when we get finished, so just keep working it. All right, I think we're ready to try to get it into this pan. I'm gonna roll it up if I can on my pen. Go like this. Pan. Then I'm going to trim off. Okay, we've got my crust ready to go. Now to make the blue from the red, I have created a, it's a divider, and I'm going to be putting it in the pie crust like this, so it'll separate the cherries from the blueberries. When I made this, I took a ruler. I used plastic because it's easy to clean up. Just started taking heavy duty aluminum foil and uh, cut a piece of it and then just started wrapping it and around the, uh, the ruler until I had, I don't know, five or six layers on and then pulled the ruler out, measured to see how long I needed to make it, cut it that length and then and fold it in half. So I've already made up the cherries and the blueberries. They're ready to go. So I'm gonna put the, the divider in and I wanna make sure it's firmly into the dough so that when I put the cherries and the blueberries in, it's not gonna push it all around. I've got, I made the blueberries and the cherries up and according to your recipe, I've, that's what I've made. Make sure that these are all stirred well because because you want to make everything covered with the blueberries covered with the, with the cornstarch and the sugar and and the lemon juice and the lemon zest and all that good stuff and the cinnamon be careful putting it in so you're not pushing the divider positioned well here and as you can see this was one pint and so i've got plenty of blueberries left over so so we're going to set those aside and I'm going to put the cherries, which I have prepared earlier with the sugar and the tapioca. Now the tapioca and the cornstarch are thickening agents. So again, you want to make sure that it's distributed well, drained all the water off of them. They do get, when the uh, sugar starts melting or dissolving, it liquefies. So there will be a lot of liquid in here. So now we're going to Roll out the dough for the stripes and the stars. And I'm going to kind of preform this a little bit because the stripes are going to be long. So 
So I need to make a real elongated piece of dough here. I usually cut my stripes with a, a ruler and a dough cutter. The first ones I'm going to cut is going to come straight off of here. And I try to measure just so make, I might have a, I'll use short pieces first. And this is about an eight inch piece. I hold it secure with my fingers. Just run the dough cutter along the edge of the ruler. And I just kind of eyeball it. I know the recipe says cutting one inch pieces, but I like, to, I like to make them more like three quarter. I get more stripes on it for one thing. And I think it looks a little bit better than big stripes. Take the dough cutter and then pinch it on. I'm gonna put one in here and that's gonna be around 12 inches. So Now we've got them pinched all down. We're gonna cut some stars now. I have a star cookie cutter, a very small one. It doesn't matter where you place them, just enough that it looks like there's a field of stars. Again, the blueberries are very uneven. The stars may not come out laying really flat, but it, uh, it'll still be okay. Okay, there's your pie all set. And then you'll bake the pie like this with the divider in it. And then when it's, uh, when it's still warm, you go ahead and pull this out, but you want it to set a little bit so that it doesn't, it doesn't run together if there's still some liquid there. There shouldn't be because, um, because after the thickening agent, whether it's a cornstarch or the tapioca cooks, it should, uh, it should solidify it. And to really know that if the pie is done, not necessarily by looking at the pie crust, but in the middle, there should be bubbles there. And that you need that to happen for the tapioca and the cornstarch to set up. I mentioned earlier, we had leftover pie dough and we had some leftover blueberries. So what I did was I took the pie dough and I rolled it back out and I took a large glass that I have at home and cut round pieces like you would for biscuits. And I took a muffin pan and I placed those discs in the muffin pan and put the extra blueberries in that and made my own blueberry tarts with the leftovers. I don't like to throw anything away. I know that the, the pies look pretty cool and they're great to make for the 4th of July or any kind of uh, Veterans Day or whatever, the, any kind of patriotic day. Um, but they're pretty simple to make. All you have to do is get the pie dough uh, rolled out and just put it together. Uh, I do want to say that th we're doing summer pies. We will have another pie class in the fall that will be uh, completely different kind of pies. We'll make an apple pie. And uh, so I hope you want, I hope you try this and find out how, to, how, how easy these are really to make and, and they look so cool when you get done.